And now the final word in India about SICS, the elegant technique, the person who is known for SICS in India, Dr. M. S. Ravindra, please. He will be speaking about retrofixation of iris claw lens. Dr. Ravindra, sir. Yeah, good, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we often come across a scenario like this where the lens is uh, you know, moving inside the eye or where you cannot put the conventional lens that you have planned to put it. And uh, how do I do it? There are various approaches. The approach that I like is I make a, a channel which can take, which can remove that lens which is dislocated. This we see very often, very often. And uh, the channel sclerocorneal or limbal corneal and today's uh, the the uh, conditions, I'll put a limbal corner, this little older video, uh, make an adequate size incision. If you don't make an adequate size incision, if you struggle through a smaller incision... Uh, sir, your video has not started. It's not started? No, sir. Okay. Okay, I'll reshare it. How about now? Yeah, sir. Now it's fantastic. Okay. So... Uh, I made, made a sclerocorneal incision, that's the dislocated the capsular bag, and uh, uh, my aim here is to retain the anterior hyaloidal surface if it's possible, then the incision has to be adequate, you'll have to have a special forceps which is perpendicular to the Kelman forceps, and now you can see the entire lens without any struggle capsular bag has come outside. Now how do we fix the lens? The lens of my choice is a lens like that which can be fixed on the back of the iris, Always check the, the slits on the uh, haptics are intact. Sometimes they are connected to each other, then you'll have different. I'll just move one of them very minutely so that if it gets separated like that, then that means it's, it's open. So I gently keep it in the anterior chamber. Keep filling dispersive viscoelastic every time. Uh, then I rotate it to the horizontal position. 90 degrees away from the main tunnel. I've already made a short length MVR entries here with 20, uh, 21 gauge MVRs. And that's a 27 gauge cannula, which is already in the entry chamber. And I'm holding the haptic optic junction and then lift the uh, haptic. Now you can see it beautifully got enclaved. This is a very quick, very easy technique uh, of, uh, you know, you're sure that you fix the iris uh, into the enclave that is there. I'm ready to enclave. And it, this is touching the lid. So see that now, now today I'll wear a shorter, uh, I'll use a shorter cannula and that's done. And uh, now I've not disturbed the anterior hyaloidal phase is intact. I don't have to do a vitrectomy. I'll remove the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber and angle region to prevent the secondary com the glaucoma. And uh, I'm doing an aerodectomy because I've not used a vitrectomy probe. I do a manual aerodectomy. I support the back of the iris with a cannula from that side and here I pierce with a fine needle. So I don't have a, I don't have to take a vitrectomy probe at all. So you can see the aridectomy there done manually with a needle and a supportive element behind. Form the chamber, glue this conjunctiva tenons back from the sclera and you don't have to bandage the eye. The patient will start enjoying the vision right from that time and you can start the post-operative medications. Uh, I'll just show one more uh, video. That's it. Yeah, I'll, I'll just take a few seconds. Uh, position it. Hold. The moment you go, the viscoelastic comes out. The lens comes out. That's the time to hold it there. Take it behind the iris. Lift it up. Exactly press at the middle of the flange. And uh, again, the other side. See, this is the cannula that I was talking about. It doesn't touch the lid and enclave it. That's the end of surgery. Remove the viscoelastic. Thank you. This is a savior in difficult situations. It, this is a little challenge. There is a learning curve in implanting the lens behind it, but uh, it's one of the simplest things. It becomes a little more challenging when you've done a vitrectomy when the sclera mm -hmm. tends to collapse and do a very minimal vitrectomy and then you can continue doing vitrectomy after you implant the lens behind the uh, iris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ravindra, sir. I think it was a wonderful video about the demonstration of iric law lenses. It is not that easy for others. It is definitely the difficult learning curve in case of